Alright, Wasabi, welcome back to the channel. Alright, we've got a battle on the Siegfried Line map, and we've got in Tizando in the TS-54. This is the um, double barrel tank you get when you have um, Watt Plus, and uh, you can get Watt Plus now with a free code from Wargaming to um, gives you one day of it. Um, so I'm not sure if that's what Intizano is using, but um, I assume that he's going to get a decent uh, result from his tank. Okay, first shot in. Oh, he's going to get another one in the ELCs. That one's been tracked or sitting still, so bang, goes another shot. So he's not using the double barrel shot. Um, as you probably saw in the game we had recently on the channel, um, each gun is parallel, so when you're aiming you're actually looking through one particular gun barrel, so it's um, not too bad when you're doing one shot, but sometimes when you're doing two shots you're uh, uh, not getting the exact aim. Anyway, he's platooned with Fury and Lion Balls. Um, Fury's in the LT432, and Lion Balls is in the Lerber, I think, it's one of his favourite tanks. <laughs> uh, surprising. Alright, so he's picking up quite a bit of damage on these light tanks, and that's uh, pretty decent because they do zip around a bit, but they are tanks, not wheel vehicles, so um, that probably makes them a bit easier prey, but they've got most of them down hit points. targets while that is not happening. Alright, this uh, flaming burrito is also the clan, I think. It still is. Let's have a quick look. Oh, it didn't work. Anyway. Um, anyway, it's in the KBZ 50T, that's the um, ranked rewards tank, so not sure if you can get that anymore, given that um, ranked is not there, unless Onslaught gives you those uh, same rewards. But um, in any case, he's gone right up to him, but they're both hull down and he's not going to pen. KPZ 50T, it's a tier 9 and it's got a very strong turret. Shot at by a Cobra, so he's just going to line up the marker there and see if he can spot where the Cobra is. Well, the Cobra's probably ducked behind cover here, but uh, you can see the Cobra firing HG if he pans, he's going to do massive damage. Of course, he's getting lit by the um, KPZ there. Oh, there's the Cobra, yeah, he's behind the blockhouse, so not a shot, but can you line up that ELC without uh, exposing himself too much to the KPZ? Dodging backwards and forwards, just make sure he's not going to get targeted by anyone. But uh, he will be lit here. Cobra. No, still behind the blockhouse. Is he coming out for a shot? No. No, he's not. Not at this point, anyway. But anyway, patience is its own reward. Uh, well, don't be too patient, it's only a 15 minute game. <laughs> We've gone through four minutes. Alright, the KPZ tries to put a shot into him, but uh, none of them doing damage to each other. And now the Cobra lands another HE shot, but um, again, no pen, so only he's doing minor damage. Just takes out his optics, which is no bueno. And Fury's gone down, that's a bit sad, but uh, three tanks against him. Oh, he can line up the uh, Cobra now, going for the double shot. And only does 300 odd damage, which uh, looks like only one shell landed on. Maybe it was only one shell. No, I thought he was going for the double shot. There's the Cobra again. Puts the next shot in. But he did take a big hit from the Cobra there, about 400 odd damage, so you don't want to do that too often. And oh, that's Pumba. I do know that player. And he can probably get a killing shot now if he lines him up carefully. No. It's uh, not uh, connecting. Uh, just not quite lining up that target there, so I'm not sure if again that's the double barrel effect or just um, RNG 
at work. Oh no, that Cobra's been taken down to one hit point. But he's still alive, so that's not helpful. He doesn't know that I'm just quite getting an angle on him. Fury's dead tank is down there. AT-15 pushing in on the KPZ, so time to take advantage of this and put a double barrel shot into him and he gets the kill there, so there you go, double barrel taking effect, 779 points of damage in that one shot and yeah, sorry, we don't have the normal display here um, we've got a new patch that came in today, so all the mods are broken so we're not getting any real effect there uh, Cobra took out the Panzer and then an LC took out the Cobra, but the Cobra was down at one hit point from what I recall. Alright, time to push up. The uh, tanks have been blown away in this particular area, so you can see if we can get another or he's lit, so... Okay, that's proxy spotting from the Skoda T-56, who might be interested in putting a shot to him, but vice versa. Snaps away, didn't sound like it connected, but he's still got one shot lined up. Finally gets it under the uh, lower front plate. And the DPM on this is not too bad. Um, as you can see the reload time between shells is not too bad. And then of course you've got each barrel loading roughly independently. So the second shell loading fairly quickly because it's already in motion. All right, so. Closing in on 3k damage. Uh, it's a very even game at the moment, 6 all. And don't have the hit points remaining at this point. As for the Coppola shot, unfortunately, again, sounds like it didn't connect. Or no sound, so <laughs> that's why it sounds like it didn't connect, I should say. But uh, he doesn't want to get too far forward either. There's an ISU 152 there, basically probably lining him up as soon as he comes out. Uh, finally goes through the Coppola. And this go to T-56, just baiting, but not being able to do a whole lot. In fact, there he goes, fires and bounces. And fires again, and time to come out. But again, watch out for that ISU 152. No worries behind a hard cover. In fact, the uh, line balls takes out. The uh, Skoda, oh, he's got the off and trigger. Does another double barrel shot there, but only does 500 ish damage. But that's okay. And he gets taken out by 430. So the team's starting to pull this game in. Mine ball's obviously having a bit of an effect. Oh, and there we go. Cobra, another Cobra. And just doesn't hit there. That's two barrels, neither thing connecting, which is a bit sad. And that could be because it's partly behind cover. Unfortunately, with the new patch coming in, all my settings have been reset, which is a bit sad. Um, so yeah, I don't have the outline uh, feature working at this point. To go back into my settings now. So I didn't notice that before. But uh, now that can close in on the tanks at the back. Now it's got to be a little bit careful. There's a G-Saw hanging out at the back of this uh, area, or was last seen there, I should say. And another ISU. 152. Might be the ISU 152, it's a bit hard to say. He's looking for an outline on the SU 130pm, but not getting it. It's just too much um, terrain in the way. He doesn't really want to push out here too quickly in case he gets shot in the side of the turret or side of the tank. So he's going to move around to the other side, so it looks, yes, in that direction. Uh, I'm just check they're not advancing because. No one's really on that side. So, not wanting to put himself too much at risk, it's understandable. Can probably take two hits from the ICU. That'd be about it. Um, the G source being spotted. And he's been taken down at point, so. Not sure what's uh, holding him back. And there goes the G saw. That's what I was worried about. But where's the ISU-152? That's the question. So I can proxy him if he's still up here, or in fact if he's pulled back, he'll be somewhere in the corner. 
Alright, let's see my 30 pm. Scouting ahead. Do some spotting. Has he been lit up? A bit hard to tell, he's holding back. So he's out there getting in front. But yes, he has been spotted. Well, there you go. There's the ISU. Right there. Goes for the double shot. Only one goes in. Uh, frustrating the gun in that sense. Taking two shells and only one's hitting, but again, you know, I'd say that's the aiming point, and um, I'm not exactly sure how you're going to compensate for that if you aim centre of mass and only one goes in. Where is the other one going? Alright, anyway, that big hit from the ICU 152, as I said, it could take two hits, but <laughs> he's attacking the first hit and that's lost him 700k, so he doesn't want to do that again. And it's just not getting. The opportunity. Oh, in fact, there goes the ICU-152. So only three tanks left now. Two TDs, it looks like, and is that a Cobra? It's a bit of tilting out one. Let's see if we get the uh, full information here. Is my cursor gone? I've lost it. Let's see if we get the full info. Radio. Okay. So. Johnny Chimpo, 2AR in the Cobra. An ICU, and still an ICU 152 and the SU 130PM. So, what we can't see is the hit points that they've got, but we do. Oh, there we go, there's the ICU. Oh, sorry, the SU 130PM. So, one more shot, and now he's going down below level. There's the Cobra. It's just doing single shots here, probably more reliable. And he's been spotted, but the. Cobra hasn't noticed him. And they're all down in the corner there. No. Well, there goes the Cobra. So now it's just the SU 130pm and the ISU. And there's the SU. He's down to 20 hit points. No, where's the ISU? And that's what he does want to do is get lit by firing at the SU 130pm and then being taken out of the existence by the uh, ISU. But uh, so far hasn't been spotted, so this has come out this time. So, but uh, where the ISU, well, there is the ISU. And no, you can't even get the outline on him, he's just down below the terrain. And he's been worked over, so probably to preserve one shot for each tank, I would say, if you can uh, get them in. Yeah, you've probably noticed a lot of the maps have been reworked um, in this current patch, or the, the one that just came out before this one. Um, yeah, we go to low hit point tanks, and it gets the final kill there. Yeah, so there's a few places that you, if you haven't played these maps in the last patch, um, you're going to get a bit of a surprise. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the details. Alright, got the details here. So it's in that 5.1k of damage, uh, so blind shots went in. 1.4k of assisted, um, blocked 1.4, so he's earned 6.5k of combined, which is a great total. Let's send him the um, high caliber award and the confederate award. Uh, and he's also got the ace tanker badge as well, of course. Let's have a look at the team score. All right, it's finished on top with 1547. Uh, Fury, yep. Didn't last that long, so he didn't really accumulate a lot. And then line balls here in the middle got a kill, but then he was taken out. And on the enemy side, the G saw came on top, but the one of these eyes, the one, last ISU 152, 3.7k, getting the most damage there of the enemy team. All right, and in fact, it wasn't his early day with that tank. Um, he's got two marks of excellence on it, so <laughs> I assume he's. Uh, running what plus on his account, but uh, look, that's not either here nor there. But that's how you get the tank, of course, so that's the new thing about that. Anyway, fired 32 shots, 21 hits, and I think this is what we're seeing with the um, TS-54 gun, um, and the aiming points uh, probably playing a part there, but of the hits, 19 penetration, so decent, uh, decent pens there. Had some battle payments running, but gave him some nice um, earnings. But he did spend a bit on ammunition, but ended up still with a profit of 22k, which is not too bad. Anyway, great game there from Intizono. Another excellent game from him. Um, getting some really good results in the game at the moment. 
and hopefully you like seeing them on the channel and if you do please give the video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet i'll leave that to you to consider we'll have more great content to follow thanks very much for watching